All right, here's a look at what we'll be doing today. For my 1,000th subscriber, Studio Bam Pictures, he asked for a Dodge tutorial, so that's what we'll be doing. So let's get right into it. We want to go ahead and open up our Dodge animation. I put one in the description that you can download. And we want to go towards the end of the animation to where he's getting up from the Dodge. And we want to right-click and add Notify, a new Notify, and we will call it End Dodge. And then also, we want to search for Root in the asset details and we want to enable root motion this will put our character at the end of the dodge location rather than pulling him back to where the animation started and then we want to go to the animation right click and create anim montage all right because we're going to be using a montage uh, for the dodge and we want to have it be the default group because we want to use the whole body we're using the legs and everything all right so let's go to our inputs let's find jump and right click jump and Duplicate that and then go ahead and change that name to Dodge. We're using uh, the jump input because that's a digital Boolean. So that's why we're copying that one rather than like a move input. Okay. Okay, so let's open the IMC GDC motion matching. Uh, and let's go ahead and add an input and find the Dodge one we just created. And then we can click on the keyboard and then I'm going to use E as my dodge button. You use whatever button you'd like. I'm also going to add a gamepad input. And it doesn't, I'm gonna just use, you know, face bottom left for now, you know. So, it's just good practice to have a gamepad input for all of your inputs. It'll make it easier for you down the line. All right, so let's go into our sandbox character blueprint. And let's go ahead and right click and search for IA dodge input that we just created. And we're going to pull it off the started rather than triggered because trigger fires every second you have your key down. All right, so first we're going to add a new Boolean variable and we're gonna call it dodging. And let's go ahead and bring it out. And from that, we're gonna search for the not Boolean. So when we're not dodging, we're going to go ahead and move forward with our code. So let's create a branch and do just that. So drag it started into the branch and from true, if we're not dodging, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're going ahead and search for set wants to strafe, and we're going to set that to false. That way, we can roll in the direction that we're moving in. Okay, and from that, we're going to create a small delay that will give us that will give us an opportunity to still be moving in the direction, and then we'll be able to play the montage in that direction. So, just a very small delay. So that way the, the, the Unreal Engine can grab your input direction of where you're trying to move. All right, and so now the Anim Montage, we're going to select the Standing Dive one we created earlier, and we can increase the play rate a little bit so the dodge is a little bit faster because the, my dodge animation is kind of slow. All right, so we want to go down to the Strafe input, and we want to create a new variable for that. Okay, so drag out this new Strafe variable, and we want to choose Set. And we will drag the return value from the wants to strafe variable and plug that into the set strafe node. And this is going to kind of just, this is going to store whether or not we want to strafe or not because we turned off strafing. And so when we check that notify later in our anim blueprint, we won't know if we were supposed to be strafing or not. So that's why we're storing this with another variable that's going to check. And we want to see where wants to strafe's default value is. And by default, it's set to true. So we're going to set this to true. Otherwise, we'll have no idea of whether or not we're strafing. So, you know, it, at begin play, that only triggers when you, you click your strafe input, wants a strafe input. So that's why we have to just set it to what it's at. We have to match that to the wants to strafe input at the beginning because it will never trigger unless you trigger the input yourself. All right, so... All right, so let's open our anim blueprint, and we want to be in our event graph for animation blueprint for our sandbox character. And we want to search for that notify and dodge. All right, and let's pull out our sandbox character reference. It's already created for us. And we want to set dodging to false because we have ended the dodge. 
and now we're going to grab our strafe are we strafing uh, variable and from that we can pull a branch and if it's true we will set it back to wants to strafe and that will make our character strafe again after the dodge you might also be able to just rather than the branch you might be able to just get set wants to strafe and then get your strafe and plug that right into wants to strafe and that should work but this is the way I did it so if this works I know this works so alright I forgot one thing uh, we want to turn off can be damaged right so search for set can be damaged we want to set that to false you could also think about putting it in front of the montage so it disables it before the montage plays I just put it at the end uh, and then we also want to do the uh, disable that or set it back to true inside of the animation blueprint so off of our sandbox character reference search for can be damaged and we want to do it uh, before the branch because we want to always set this back to true regardless of we were strafing or not all right so sorry for that oversight if you want to turn off being damaged while you roll go ahead and just add that real quick um and there you go so let's test it out all right and so this is he's wanting to strafe because it's strafing by default so he's rolling in the direction and then he's going back to strafing. All right, so let's change it. Now he's not wanting to strafe, and then he can he continues not wanting to strafe. All right, so this is just to show that it works, you know, with whatever setting that you have, wants to strafe or not. All right, well, hey, thanks for coming back. I know it was a long time since I made uh, published a video, so sorry about that. I'm getting back into it now, so thanks for coming back. Hope this helped, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. And take care. Bye.